The story of Wuthering Heights begin with a young man named Lockwood who is curious and rents a house in Thrushcross Grange. Lockwood meets a man named Heathcliff and he starts recording everything that he knows about him and all of the stories that he hears about the mysterious place called Wuthering Heights, which is very gloomy and unwelcoming. Mr. Lockwood specifically wanted to know about Heathcliff, who owned all of the land in the area, and he wanted to know how he got there and what his childhood was like. This novel has a theme of leadership and social status because Heathcliff was actually adopted by Mr. Earnshaw, and he was originally from England, so it shows that social status does have an impact on where you can get in life during that time. Nellie was the maid who originally worked for the Earnshaws and then she moved and started working for the Lintons, which were the snotty neighbors of the Earnshaws. But then later in the book, she goes back and starts working for Heathcliff again. The theme of leadership comes back at this time because Mr. Earnshaw takes in an orphan and his kids, Catherine and Hindley, actually get jealous because he favors the orphan a lot. But then Catherine ends up falling in love with Heathcliff. This is where social status really comes into play because Catherine and Heathcliff are in love, but Catherine ends up choosing the snotty next door neighbor, Edgar Linton, instead of Heathcliff because Heathcliff is a poor orphan boy and she'd much rather have all the riches and social status that she can get from marrying Ed Edgar over Heathcliff. <music> to get revenge at the Lintons, and specifically Edgar, Heathcliff actually marries Ed Edgar's sister, Isabella, and he doesn't even love her, but she doesn't know that, and he ends up also taking her go. <laughs> After marrying Edgar, Catherine gives birth to a daughter and she ends up dying while giving birth. And the daughter's name is also Catherine. After Catherine dies, Heathcliff is greatly saddened, which is where he gets his moody personality and the theme of hatred and remorse comes into play. At this point in the book, Hindley, Heathcliff's brother, dies, and Heathcliff is left taking care of his son, Hareton. So Heathcliff and Isabella's son's name is Linton, and Heathcliff wants Linton to marry Catherine's daughter, Catherine II, so that he can get revenge and so he can control all of the land in the area. After Heathcliff forces Catherine and Linton to get married, Edgar Linton dies, and then Linton Heathcliff follows, leaving Catherine a widow. Since Edgar died, this allows Heathcliff to own all of the land in the area. Since Linton Heathcliff is dead, Catherine II falls in love with Hindley's son. At this point, Nellie is done with the story, and it goes back to present day. Heathcliff dies, which allows Catherine and Hindley's son to get married. Catherine II and Hindley's son inherit all of the land that Heathcliff left behind, which is an example of how social status was effective back then.